You don't see a great many of this brand around, which considering they've done well on this site before, it seems a bit of a shame. Keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to Got A Ukulele Review Day. It's summary video review. If you look at the link below each review, you'll go back to the website, look at the pictures, the scores, a lot more information about this instrument. Number of thank yous running across the bottom of the screen. There's some links below this video as to where you can donate to help keep this site going, because I don't get paid by brands or stores or shops or that kind of thing. They would just be adverts, so I can only keep doing this thanks to the enormous help of the kind people who donate. If you want to get involved, you know what to do. And you can also help me out by subscribing to the YouTube channel. The count is running up now, heading towards, well, I'm nowhere near 40,000, but that's the next big target. So you can help me out with that as well. Okay, this is a brand um, I've come across before. I've played several, reviewed one before, reviewed very well. Um, they're a brand that are part of the John Hornby Skews stable, huge beer moth music distribution stable in the UK, part of the vintage guitar line. And as I say, they've done very well before, but they're really hard to find. They're just not in a lot of shops. And this one gets worse, actually, which I will explain in a moment. This is the Lacquer VUT80EA tenor, and it's a classy looking thing. Um, what's disappointing me about this one is because I only bought this about two or three weeks ago and it seems like this may now be discontinued. <laughs> so here I am reviewing something. I always like to review things you can get hold of. There are, however, still some shops with stock. And if it does very well on this review, you can scream at JHS and say, come on, we want more of them. Um, because I just don't see a lot of lacquers about. This is a really classy looking instrument, isn't it? This is a solid top laminate back and sides instrument that is solid Sitka spruce on the top and it is really nice spruce very very straight tight grain no flaws in it whatsoever and the back and sides are laminate koa not the most attractive and stripy koa but koa all the same bit of stripe on the sides as you can see two pieces on the top back and sides it's really classy what a nice combination of woods i think i think that goes together really well the a classic mix of spruce top and a darker uh, woodier back and sides. I think it looks great. The bridge material is made from uh, a wood called Power Ferro. Looks very like rosewood. It's very generic, isn't it? It's a tie bar with these wings on the side. I do rather like that um, herring, a sort of rope marquetry on the bottom edge. Doesn't have any technical purpose, but it looks nice. Sitting in that is a straight topped new bone saddle. Decoration, also very sympathetic. We've got this cream, what looks like maple wood actually, edge binding, and back stripe and tail stripe around the top and the back with a little black purfling line. And then around the top edge, you get this wooden inlaid rope uh, marquetry, really well done, and double rope marquetry, which gives kind of a herringbone effect around the sound hole. I think that all comes together really nicely. It's very classy, it's not ostentatious, it's, it's a great look. All finished in satin, open pour, that I can't find any flaws with. The only other thing on the body, you'll have spied it, it's got an active pickup in it. Now, it's a Fisherman Solitone, good pickup. Um, I still don't like active pickups in ukuleles because of the weight. There is so much gear going on inside there. A um, lot of wiring. At least they've gone with the one with the controls inside the sound hole rather than putting an ugly thing on the side. But then it's a real letdown. They didn't go with cell batteries. They've gone with a 9 volt battery. And I'll come on to the weight of this and the balance in a moment. Just give me an active. Just give me an active. It's just too much inside a small instrument. All right, there we are. Inside, otherwise, apart from all that wiring, thin braces, very thin braces, notched linings, no mess, uh, pretty tidy indeed. The neck, covered in satin as well, made of mahogany. There is no joint at the heel, unusually. Very well hidden joint up at the headstock. And uh, as I say, finished in satin. It's very generic though, tapers down to a 35 mil nut, 27 from G2A, and it's quite rounded on the back as well. This is a very subjective thing. It's not my kind of neck. It will suit a lot of people. It doesn't really suit my hands, I don't find. The fingerboard is made of more power ferro, very good condition, nice oily condition, uh, even in colour, 
uh, edge bound down the sides. There are no sharp fret ends, not even a hint of them. That's great. 19 frets with 14 to the body, to the top of the cutaway. Position dots face out at 5, 7, 10 and 12, very standard. And they are complemented with side dots too. Uh, beyond the new bone nut, and despite me buying this from a non-nuke specialist, just a high street, random high street store, the setup on this has arrived great. Um, it's a very simple headstock shape. The lacquer logo is uh, laser etched, and like all lacquers, it comes with this oh so twee generic uh, Hawaiian style thing. Do you know, you used to see this a lot uh, 20 years ago when nukes were going on, starting on the boom in this country. Uh, palm trees and hibiscus flowers and everything. I thought we'd got out of that really. These are made in China, not Hawaii. But no, like I still do that. Not my kind of thing, but it's not life and death, is it? Another subjective one. Uh, this isn't subjective. Those tuners are great. Open gears by Grover, small black buttons, really good quality. Excellent, excellent tuners. Strings, Aquila, comes with nothing else bar that heavy pickup. And the price, if you can find one, and this was on a sale price, I think this, was, this is the way they are in most shops, about £199. That's not a lot of money. It's a solid top instrument, put together extremely well. I've got some subjective gripes like that nut width, uh, and, that's about, and the pickup, but it's a really classy combination of woods. The finish, build, and everything else, I can't find anything wrong with. The neck is lovely apart from the profile. I love the look, I do love the look. It is kind of chunky to hold though, and it is body heavy. Why is it body heavy? Because there's a big massive battery in there. It's body heavy, and there's no strap buttons. You have to fit those yourself. It's just dipping this way. That's not right. It's not right, and it feels heavy, 650 grams. So it's a hefty thing. Um, pluses and minuses, really nice looker. Get rid of that pickup. Let's have a play. Come on, lacquer. The last lacquer I looked at, which was a concert, did very well, actually. Um, they also used to partner with Joe Brown, uh, the musician, and uh, did a signature series with him as well. Um, you know, they are a, a well-known name, but you just don't see a lot of them in music stores, I don't find. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong music stores. Solid spruce top, laminate curve back and sides, so it's going to be bright, but hopefully with the back and sides, toning that back a little and it is bright okay right volume very good um not the not the loudest punchiest instrument i've ever played but good certainly passable good volume sustain that drops off really quickly there's a bit but it's not great i really want more sustain Still, that's quite a nice jangly tone. Certainly on the brighter end of the spectrum, but not totally, it's not really in your face. And very clear, the, no the notes in the strum are very clear. Okay, finger picked is where I think we're going to lose a bit of character because we haven't got those long sustains for putting frill. Chiming. It's all right. 
it's all right, you know, it does sound good, actually. I'd like a bit more sustain. Uh, I'd like the brightness toned off a little bit, but not hugely. It, it's a passable sound. It's a great looker. It is a great looker. Uh, the finish, fit and finish is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I can't find any flaws with that side of it at all. Bar the subjectives, the pickup, the neck profile and width. Um, I just hope you're going to be able to find one. I do, it does get a recommendation because I think it's a pretty decent instrument actually. 199 quid, not a lot of money for something like this considering all you're getting. Uh, maybe a bag would have been nice. Um, the Lacquer, V-U-T-80-E-A, solid Sitka spruce top, laminate cover back and sides, tenor scale, cutaway, uh, 199, Grover tuners as well. Um, yeah, that's all right. One or two little niggles to it that just sort of drag it down a little bit. But, um, you know, again, good time to be a buyer, isn't it? This sort of stuff just wasn't around when I started. I rather like that one. Okay, thank you very much for watching and your ongoing support. I am back next week with a quirky one, uh, a cheap quirky one, I think. And then I think I've got something extremely special. The timing sort of went out a little bit out of line a bit. But thanks very much for continuing to watch and support the channel. I'll be back soon. Very, very warm week out in the UK. Look after each other. Stay cool. And uh, I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.